what's going on? It's your boy Jeremy Cash live and direct with another valuable video for you. Today's topic is should you quit your job? All right, so we're going to talk about that. But before we do that, I got a couple of books that I picked up. Uh, some of these are older, but the first three are, are brand new and I'm actually starting to read them now. Uh, the first one is The Conspiracy of Credit right? Credit. You know I've been on the credit topic, right? So the guy, Corey P. Smith, uh, look him up on YouTube. Type in Corey P. Smith. You can see his name at the bottom. Dope, dope guy, man. He, my first time running across his channel, I instantly bought, you know, two of his books. Instantly bought them, right? So the first one is Conspiracy of Credit. You know, I told you guys I'm on the credit game, learning all the credit hacks, how to, you know, do a lot of stuff with your credit and, you know, build wealth off of credit, basically. Uh, the second book, is the unbreakable laws of business credit by Corey P. Smith, same guy, right? So, uh, you know, supposedly he covers a whole lot of, you know, secrets, you know, um, teaches you how to get freedom, you know, with your credit and exposes the lies that's been told about credit and, you know, how you can pretty much change your entire life, you know, just a rundown, you know, um, he came from a, a background, a, a not so positive background, you know, uh, been to jail before and things like that. Uh, but you know, changed his life around. And if it wasn't, you know, for him learning about credit, he's actually a millionaire now. Um, he was actually able to, you know, purchase like a $2 million house or something like that, uh, from, from business credit, from credit and building his credit profile. So Dope guy. Um, another guy on YouTube that I bought his book is uh, Credit is King by William Roundtree. Oh, Will Roundtree. You can look him up on YouTube. Got some really dope videos as well. So I will be reading this one um, fairly soon. Uh, this one, great, great, great book. Uh, You're a badass at making money. So you guys should probably do check this out. It's your local Barnes and Nobles or online on Amazon. And we all know... This famous book, as you can see, is beat up because it's been, you know, through the trenches. But yeah, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, classic, classic book. If you never read this, it will change your life. The last video I talked to you guys about was talking about the four quadrants. Talks about it a little bit in here, but a lot of other great stuff. And last but not least, my uh, Your Right to Be Rich by Napoleon Hill. Looks like a dictionary encyclopedia, guys, so quality quality good secrets good stuff in these books reading is fundamental leaders are readers guys you've been hearing it for years and it's true so uh i would always tell you if you want to quit your job there's a couple of things you got to change you got to change your habits right um you may have to stay up a little later to work on your dreams because the problem is what happens is you work all day you get off right? You're tired. You don't really feel like doing nothing because they worked you so hard. You might work 10, 12 hour shifts. You get home, you're ready to lay on the couch. You're going to have to take that time from the time you get off, set aside some time to uh, work on a business. You know, I watch YouTube videos all day. I learn how to, you know, drive traffic. I'm learning something new, how to do Forex, how to do Nadex, uh, how to do CPA, how to invest my money, you know, to make it work for me and things like that. So uh, first things first is you're going to have to learn how to manage the time that you do have, because that's very, very important uh, when you want to leave your job. The second thing I would tell you to do uh, is not to leave yet. I would say stack up some money, come up with a plan first, you know, stack up at least, you know, it only, most people say six months, but if you really just hate your job and you really got to get out of there, stack up enough two to three months, you know, worth the worth of living uh, money. Or, you know, you need to stack up the money, you know, um, to find out what you're going to do or while you're at your job, uh, study Forex, right? Um, study things like uh, binary options, things like investing in, um, you know, Robinhood, the Robinhood app and things like that. Uh, how to how to let your money work for you so that you don't you know have to work for money right so whenever you get in your paychecks and you take you know a hundred dollars or um 
two hundred dollars or something like that, you know how to flip it. So that's what I do. Like when I make money from my main, you know, business, which is the email processing or whatever, uh, I take that money and I, I'll spread it out. I'll put some towards, you know, advertising and then I'll also put, you know, a lot of it into the stock market, like Forex and binary options, and I will try to flip my money. Uh, so that is growing, it's constantly growing, you know, kind of how the banks do your money, but at a faster rate. So uh, that's that's kind of what I do. That's the way it should be done, because while you're making the money, you're then pushing it back out to make you more money. So that's the problem with a lot of people and why they're not able to leave their job, because they, they finally start making money online. So then they want to keep it all and a closed fist. You can't receive. You can't receive, you know, with a closed fist. So you need to open your hand, let the money flow out, so that way you can receive more back to you, right? So, like, whenever you make money, find out how to invest it. Like I said, you can look up the Robin Hood app. Um, I always tell people stock market because that's usually a lot easier than going straight into real estate um, off top. Real estate is always the end goal because when you look at it, real estate is everything. Where you live at, real estate, what business you go to, real estate, every building real estate you know what i mean so we know that that makes the most millionaires is real estate but on the back end you know the stock market is is pretty much second to none right it's a trillion dollar industry currencies and stuff like that or or commodities gold silver all that stuff is being traded on a daily basis on wall street and so um when we're looking at stuff like that, those are actually wealth building strategies, right? Now, I know a lot of you love CPA and all that stuff, and you can build some pretty good money off of that, but I wouldn't say it's a super just wealth builder. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can make uh, six figures off of it and things like that, but when it comes to like really making the real wealth, your best route, real estate, stock market, uh, Really, even even YouTube, because a lot of like you've seen, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but that uh, it's a seven year old kid. Uh, what is his name? Uh, I forgot his name. My kids watch him all the time, but uh, it's making twenty two million dollars a year from YouTube videos. So, YouTube is like a residual income. Start a YouTube channel. If you don't know how to grow it, I have a training on showing you how to grow your YouTube channel. I know all the secrets now. Like it took me a couple years, figured out pretty much everything to know. So I have multiple channels. Um, Teach you how to grow YouTube fast. But uh, as far as quitting your job, y'all, don't be in a rush. You know what I mean? I know you hate it and all that. But the thing is, set a plan. You set a plan, say, okay, I'm going to take some money. I'm going to find somebody to fix my credit. If you don't know somebody to fix your credit, I refer the guy, CJ, the credit fixer. Uh, you can go to his YouTube channel and get your credit fixed, right? Uh, so if you work, you need to work on getting your credit right. If you don't have any credit cards, you need to work on getting you some credit cards, right? Um, because there's so much you can do with them, right? And um, you need to get at least a secured credit card if you don't have any. If you do have credit cards and you're in credit card debt, um, what I would tell you to do to fix your utilization is to go to myjewelersclub.com. Sign up for a uh, account. It's about $150. You will get a $5,000 credit line, right? So that will help you with your debt to, in I mean, debt to credit ratio uh, and your utilization. And then you can also go to um, Hutton Chase and then sign up for another $1,500 credit line. And that will also um, help you with your utilization, bringing that utilization down to help your score. Um, if you are in debt, um, and your job is helping you get out of debt or you just want to know how to get out of debt, look up Velocity Banking. Velocity Banking on YouTube. Uh, there's a there's a guy on there. I forgot his name. But he's a, he's a light-skinned guy, glasses, curly hair. You'll see him. He got tons of videos on Velocity Banking. And then also a guy by the name of uh, Connor J. Wallace. Uh, those guys talk deeply on velocity banking and how to use your credit cards and credit uh, lines of credit to get out of debt uh, so that you can free your life up. So uh, definitely look up velocity banking, guys. But like I said, get get you a couple of uh, credit cards, um, work on building your credit, getting your credit as high as you can. And then from there, you know, you can uh, implement some of the business strategies that you want to, because the problem is. A lot of us have business ideas, but we feel like we don't have the money to do them, right? So that's where credit comes into place. 
right? And if you can, you know, scale and manage your credit right, you can then go out and, uh, you know, to any bank with, when your credit is good and they will just throw money at you for you to do whatever it is that you want to do. So, you know, all those dreams that you do have will come to pass. It's going to take time, like I always say, but, you know, uh, don't be in such a hurry to just jump out there and quit. I made that mistake before, um, where, you know, you quit with no savings, no nothing. You're just trying to do it. And then when, you know, online is not working then you're like, man, you gotta, gotta go back and then gotta quit again. It's just, it's too much. It saves you a lot of time. So, uh, you know, just put, you know, what you need to put into place. So like I said, get your credit, right. Stack up you some bread, find out, Write, write out what you need to do. Okay. Uh, for instance, write down, you know, like YouTube, I'm going to do YouTube, you know, full time, no matter what I'm going to, you know, start learning Forex. All right. I'm going to learn how to ch uh, trade in the stock market. I'm going to learn how to do, uh, you know, real estate investing because you could do real estate without even having any money. It's called wholesale, wholesaling real estate. So if you want to look into that, look into that. Uh, you don't need any money. You don't need to buy any properties or anything like that. Uh, you can still make around ten or twenty thousand a month, but not that. That's later on once you learn the game. It's not just jumping off the back. But a lot of people are just doing wholesaling real estate and making you know ten, twenty, thirty thousand a month. So that's another way. But like I said, don't expect all this stuff to come overnight. Just study it, study it, study it. Come up with your plan, and then when you finally leave, you know you you can leave forever. You never have to go back. You can you know. Uh, trade from the beaches of the world. If you want to, you know, be a stock market trader, you can, you know, travel the world and trade as long as you got an internet connection. If you want to start your online business like I do, like my one of my number one businesses, email processing, you can just do it from anywhere in the world. You can live life on your own terms, do whatever you want to do, travel with your family and kids, and or, or just by yourself or with your girlfriend or boyfriend, however y'all do it, you know. So uh, definitely, you know, um, make this year, uh, a year of investments, a year of learning and, you know, a planning. If you want to leave, if you really want to leave, you need to plan it out perfectly, perfect exit strategy and, and you good to go, man. You'll be a better there and your credit will be right when you leave. Your money will be stacked up. Your investments will be already working for you because that's what I was saying. Like if you learn, you know, things like Forex and uh, Nadex or whatever it is you guys are wanting to do, if you learn these things now, since it's early in the year, you know, by the time June come, even before then, but by the time the summer comes, then you will already be, you know, trading in the markets, making money on top of the money that you're making at work. So by the time you throw some money in the markets, you know, you can flip it, right? You can flip that money anytime you want to grow it. And then, you know, by the time, you know, you leave, you already got uh, like four or five different income streams. So... You got to put in that work. You got to read these books, man. It's, it's so much stuff in these books that you can learn, you know, how to how to build business credit, how to, you know, start your LLC, how to, you know, build generational wealth for you and your family. I want y'all to leave. I want to meet up with y'all one day, and kick it, make some money. Other than that, though, man, that's pretty much all you need to do. Keep God first and, you know, believe that it's going to happen for you and, and it'll happen. You never have to go back. Other than that, man, it's your boy Jeremy Cash. You feel me? My number one recommended way to make some money online is below the video. So if you want to make money with me, that's how I do it. I make money a couple different ways, but that's my main source. And uh, yeah, if y'all still want the email software to extract emails, and um, that's still available as well. Uh, what else? I think that's it. My number's below. Text me. Holla at me. I'm a regular person. You feel me? But uh, other than that, I'm out. Peace.